All right, so now we've got, um, we're looking at changing the speed, um, but in this case, we're going to look at changing the speed based on the score, but it's going to be a gradual change so that we don't have to um, pick levels uh, to be looking at. We just sort of, based on the, the score, um, it will increase in speed. And so we can use a, a linear function to, to model this. Um, and it would be, so if you just think of a, a linear function, so it's got a slope, so y equals mx plus b. If I just add a comment, so um, y equals mx plus b. E. Um, and then let's start to think about, um, so if y is our speed, and then our our slope is essentially a factor that we can um, come up with, and then we're going to be rating this on the score. Uh, score. How do you spell score? There we go. Um, and then multiple. And then we're going to start off with with a current with a speed. Like when the score is zero, you don't want it to have uh, a huge um you don't want it to be to be really fast you want it to be slow and so essentially you're going to start off with a certain number so it's going to be like let's say 500 because that's what we did for this current version and so um as you increase this score you want this value um to increase and when you add up the speed will will go down so um the speed will the speed will speed up but the wait time will go down. And so maybe I'll change this to wait time. And so this factor, we know this factor has to be a negative value um, in there, or I'm just going to put in negative one um, in there as well. So if we just think about this, so this pause value right here is what we're thinking about. So I'm going to go grab um, the score again. So we've got the nice thing is we don't have to create a, a variable for score. Um, we already have a variable. It's, again, built in within the game to have those things. Um, so that's that's a good thing. And then we can then uh, do some math on this. So I'm going to go grab my uh, math block. And so we're going to have a sort of – so we'll do 500 uh, just because it makes – a little bit easier for the math so we got 500 minus and then the multiplication between the score and some factor so we can either say one or that sort of thing so if we run this and i'll just put this next to it so if we run this there we are oh come on seriously there we are. So now it should be at 498, 497, 490. So you probably have to get like a lot of score in here, um, or you can increase this factor. And so this is where the bigger the number, the faster the tacos will come down because the wait time will be increased. Because when you subtract a bigger number from 500, you will get uh, a smaller number. So if I wanted to make this 4 and then run it again, oh, my gosh. So now it went to, you know, 92, 88. We just keep tr subtracting 4 every time for every score. Um, and so this is will go an unlimited amount. So this is a little bit better um, if you plan on making this like a, an unlimited type of game and not a certain number of levels of, you know, once you reach level 10, where it's going like really, really fast, um, then you uh, are sort of plateaued, whereas this will just keep going and going and going. So it seems to be getting faster. Um, the other thing too is it's very subtle in terms of the speed, um, how fast it's getting going. Oh, I missed it. Darn it. 
Um, yeah, so again, based on the score, um, you're going to have a factor in there that will change it. So again, I would invite you to explore with that factor, explore with that. I got 26 this time. So the score then in that case would be 26. Um, so if we just show the, do the math quickly, uh, well, I'm just going to rearrange this. So my pause equal to 500 minus, let's just put factor F um, times score. So in this case, my pause would be equal to 500 minus 26, uh, sorry, 4 times 26. And then so we have now have pause is equal to 500. And then um, so 4 times 26 is 2480. 104. Um, so the pause ends up being uh, what 396. I hope the math is right on this one. Um, so yeah, you can see now as you increase, your pause will come down. So that's where you can have this. So again, this is a linear type of function. If you wanted to have a uh, an exponential type of function, you can do that too. Um, that would be exciting. Uh, but again, you got to get more into the math blocks with that um yeah so i would invite you to explore using that method of changing the speed um thanks again and uh happy coding <laughs>